How's everybody doing today? Good? I see hands. Make sure everyone's still alive. Great. Um, okay, Ross. Well, thank you for introducing us to the mobile app uh, promotion product from Twitter. So I think it's really interesting mm -hmm. and compelling and having worked with you on it. And uh, I think it's uh, nice to see it going public now. Mm -hmm. So I think the first question I have for you is if you could just talk a little bit about, you know, we're here talking today, it's mm -hmm. about mobile app promotion. What would you see the main benefits are that you, this new product delivers to, to advertisers? Yeah, I think, you know, how, we, how we've always thought of Twitter is that it's a, an interesting content discovery platform. Our users are on the platform <coughs> to discover new content. That's what Twitter is. It's a content distribution platform. And as a subset of that, our users are also on the platform to discover applications. And that's a behavior that we've seen exist organically uh, since day one. When you look at you know, some more indie-focused developers like Doc Gears, who had Flappy Bird, the success and rise of Flappy Bird throughout the App Store went in hand in hand with how that conversation uh, developed on Twitter. And you can see that rise in the App Store graphed against uh, how, how those, that conversation built in, built in Twitter as well. Through a deeper integration with Twitter inside the application to boost virality and ensure that they can distribute their application effectively for Twitter users. And likewise with larger publishers like Mag Interactive as well, uh, who had a deeper integration with Twitter and that was part of their success for achieving a number one position in, in the US app store. Uh, so we always saw those behaviors exist organically mm -hmm. um, on the platform. The second piece of that was how can we enable marketeers to hypercharge the, the organic behaviors that already existed. Um, and to do that, we release mobile app promotion, a, a new product suite, and it focuses on, on distribution in the promoted vein. And we've seen really compelling results across a wide variety of publishers from mobile gaming through to retail, through to finance, through to music. It works for every category of business. There's a clear space for that, those businesses on the platform. Okay, great. So you took my next question. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, yeah, because everyone typically, when they think about app promotion, there is always seems to be quite a big focus on games. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to hear that your that other um, categories are ha having success, mm -hmm. and I think your case studies highlight that. Mm -hmm. And in particular, um, their performance. Mm -hmm endpoints and booking taxi rides or whatever, so that's encouraging to see. Okay, so um, what would you say then that's specifically different now with Map versus what Twitter had as an offer before for, for advertisers? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. And the previous, our previous product, and there was a lot of success with different marketeers and developers with our, with our previous products, but the previous product was more rich media driven. Uh, so an application, an, an update that we made to our, our Twitter client, our Twitter app, um, probably over about a year ago at this point was to have tweet preview in timeline. So you get a piece of rich content delivered to you through media. And that was our first step towards becoming a rich media platform. And a lot of developers made excellent use of that. However, it wasn't a fully baked end-to-end -end solution. Uh, developers had to use a second dashboard for tracking. Uh, the charging model wasn't in line with the, the marketeer's objectives. And we were very, very cognizant of that. So we wanted to build an end to end solution, a one-stop shop effectively for marketeers to come and, and drive installs through Twitter and drive re-engagement through Twitter as well. Uh, so those four pillars that we discussed, uh, creative, targeting, measurement, and campaign man management, it's now a fully built for purpose solution um, and ease of access is, and campaign builds is what we really focus on. We wanted to make it as easy as possible for marketeers to use the platform and to build campaigns instantaneously with programmatic type campaign building capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we did. So it's kind of, in, in terms of the actual product itself, it's night, night and day type differences. Yep. Um, but having said that, there is always re really, really good results on the platform at the same time. So that's great. You now have a, a nice product that really speaks to the needs of, of, of app developers. I think the next question then is around, um, does it scale? And does it drive the volume as a, as a new channel of distribution? Does it drive the volume? And then follow on from that, um, does it drive quality volume? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it, it does. Um, that's it. And it's, we've seen that throughout the course of the readers. Actually, there's some incredible success stories. Um, an American developer, SGN, 
who has two games, dots and dots and play dots, uh, mm -hmm. very, very diverse <laughs> portfolio. Uh, <laughs> they, over the space of four weeks, uh, drove one million installs through Twitter um, at below their CPI target. So it is a channel that can scale. Uh, similarly with Lotum, who has two uh, two titles or multiple titles in their portfolio, uh, four picks, one word, true or false, the test. Um, 50% of their volume for large burst campaigns that they ran in the US and the UK came from Twitter. And Twitter was a significant channel in ensuring that they, they achieved the top 10 position in both the US and, and UK app stores. Uh, so it does scale on the transactive behaviors piece. Um, we always knew that our users from the organic side, um, the, or the organic distribution that, that we, what we discussed a moment ago, that our users had strong behaviors, and mm -hmm. we've seen that equally so in the promoted vein as well. The Get Taxi example is a really good illus illustration of that, where inside a four week period, uh, users that came from Twitter had twice the number of bookings than any other channel that Get Taxi was using. Um, at that time. So those behaviors are evident on the platform. It's clear that the users are, have good lifetime value. Um, and that's you know, crucial for everybody. Um, if you're able to achieve a CPI, but you're not able to make the cost of achieving that install back in four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, uh, you know, the, the initial outlay won't work for you. Um, but we have seen that story take place on Twitter, that users are transactive and that they do, they do have good uh, trends and, and patterns of behavior inside applications. Okay. Um, so going back to something that you originally said, and probably where, um, let's say, you know, even previous to Map being launched, the the importance of just being in Twitter, having an organic presence. Mm -hmm. How attached, detached is that to having success with Map? And you yeah, know, how do you, how does Twitter view both of those sides? Yeah, it's a it's a good question. And on the organic side, there's two, there's two components. The first is your content strategy on Twitter and your understanding of how Twitter works as a platform. And we have seen throughout the course of, you know, not only with mobile app promotion on Twitter, but any marketeer who's using any of our products. We have multiple other, pro other DR products like lead gen cards, website cards um, that are designed to fulfill a user action inside Twitter. That those marketeers who have an organic presence on Twitter and understand the platform and understand it works are the marketeers who get the best results. They understand what Twitter wants, uh, Twitter users want, and they're able to leverage those behaviors. The second piece of it is that deeper integration we discussed. Uh, we've multiple solutions to drive, to, to facilitate a deeper integration with Twitter from single sign-on through to Twitter sharing inside the application and content cards and deep linking for organic distribution. Um, bunch of content cards that, that are relevant to, to developers that uh, we can discuss discuss later. And when you have that those two pieces, that you're good at the organic side and you have a deeper integration with Twitter, that will set you up for success. And we have seen that to be the common denominator for marketeers who excel at, at, mm -hmm. at, at mobile app promotion. They understand that they, they, the organic component is important. OK, great. Um, as someone involved in this, this is sort of my question here. That's uh, specific to my heart. Um, you know, you you broke down a little bit and talked a little bit about the MMP partners. It would be, I think, everyone is, everyone here will be a sophisticated marketer mm -hmm. and understand the value of mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah, could you talk a little bit about? what they bring to the program mm -hmm. or what they bring to this product. And then similarly, someone like myself, who is a, a ads API partner, a marketing platform partner, what value do you think we bring to, to advertisers sort of working with us versus maybe just going direct? Yeah, sure. Um, so obviously, uh, both parties are an incredibly important part, part, of, part of the ecosystem. <laughs> Mobile measurement partner is as crucial as its you know, the underlying pillar of the entire product suite. Um, those tracking partners, many of who are in the audience, the audience today, um, have tremendous technology that's in, that's able to measure uh, user behavior in real time, uh, giving marketeers live conversion data that's so they can optimize for all of that in real time. But any quantitative, qualitative data you need, custom events you need to create in order to understand how our users are behaving and what the value of our users are to your business. And uh, the second piece is our mobile ads API partners um, that 
are very, very important to enable advertisers to scale on the platform. Mm. Obviously, uh, AdKnowledge is, is one, of the, one of those partners, and we have uh, 11 mobile API partners in, in total. Uh, so we've seen some really, really great results uh, on, through scaling uh, with mobile, mobile ads API partners, and you guys have a great tool. And, yep. uh, there's, it's, a, it's an important piece of the ecosystem to, to enable advertisers to, to scale effectively. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, um, and I think, so we've heard about what MAP is, we've heard about how it works, you know, the value of it combining with organic and, and what people are doing to really understand Twitter as a platform, both paid and unpaid. And I think the, the final question probably for me is I'm sitting in the room, you know, I've got a title that I really, really want to promote um, and I, w I want to try out map or even I want to go further with map um, what advice would you offer to me yeah I'd say that we, we as a business we're very our partners our marketing partners are incredibly important to us we want to make sure that you're set up for success so we, we do genuinely work very very closely with all of our partners we pride ourselves on a very high service level and on account management uh, so we will be working with you you'll have a designated team at Twitter who will be working with you throughout every piece to set you up for success on Twitter and a very very, very savvy team at that as well um, so dependence on, upon your goals, dependence upon your objectives, we'll be working with you on, on, a, on a very, very clear strategy to fulfill those goals and objectives. Um, best practices on the platform that we discussed is it's that, it's that visually engaging medium. Uh, please remember that consumers, users on our platform demand and expect visually engaging content, rich media. Um, that's where we've seen um, our advertising partners be, be most successful. Okay, and then um, just final question, three things that if I'm you know, walking away from here, what are the three, four things that you want me to cement and that are, uh, want me to remember? The first is, um, so to emphasize the, the key takeaways, is that mobile app promotion on Twitter is not an app card. A lot of this small misconception there. It's a fully baked end-to-end -end solution that has four pillars beyond an ad unit that's designed to drive better performance for marketeers. <laughs> Um, the second is that we'll be working with you throughout that entire process uh, to ensure that you will be successful and that, you're, that, that you, you, you will get good results from, from your business. We have established a bunch, a bunch of insights and learnings uh, that we can apply to you guys from, from day one to ensure that we're not in this testing phase for a period of time and that you'll be set up for early, early scale and early performance too. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Ross. Appreciate it. And we're, we're going to finish here. So I think we'll be available for questions later as well. Thanks. Okay.